Now, in addition to all of the sounds on GarageBand, which is, I'm sure you'll agree, an immense collection, we also have the opportunity with this external page here to record audio from other apps on your iPad. So, for example, I've got, if I just clip on Inter App Audio here, I've got two other sounds available on my iPad that I downloaded years ago on my iPad 2, as it was then, the Funkbox and the Animoog. Uh, the Funkbox is a classic sort of 1980s, what, 70s and 80s uh, drum machine synth. You can see the demo of that online as well on my channel. And also the Animoog, you can see a demo of that. So if I just go to Funkbox, it brings up the page that was actually the app that was built into the iPad. But at the top left, you can see that there's a GarageBand logo, uh, which basically means that it's ready to record whatever the audio output is from this. Now, because it's a drum machine, it will sync up with the tempo that's in GarageBand. So if I press, press record here, you'll hear, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna select one of my classic drum machines that I absolutely adore. It's the, the Roland CR78, and there we go. It's just classic, classic stuff. There we go. So I've got my sounds, which are, which are pads, which are available on the original thing. But I'm gonna record the drum rhythm that I've got, I think it's called Funk 9. There we go. So if I just press, there we go. So this time I'm gonna get GarageBand to record that. So I just click on the record button. So there's four bars odd. Now, I can go back to GarageBand now, and this time, if I go back to my main window, you can see that the Funkbox logo appears with an audio file next to it, which is exactly what it's just recorded. And there we go. There it is. So I'm gonna call up the other one now, external. Now, if I, because I have limited control in GarageBand, I have to make sure the cursor is at the beginning before I go to another application. That's the only sort of slight downside. Obviously, you can't control two things at once. Although you may be able to do it on the iPad Pro. I'm not sure. I think you can have two apps running. So once again, this is the Animoog, which is fantastic bit of kit. Um, I've got the GarageBand thing this time appearing at the top left, but with a, a slightly different interface. It depends on the app. So I'm going to press record and I'm going to do something on the Animoog. And there we go, there's something of sorts. So if I go back to GarageBand now, you can see that there's now a second track which contained my Animoog synth. Now, you can also use all the sounds, or the sound effects rather, uh, the built into GarageBand, on these sounds. So maybe I wanted a bit of uh, sort of phasing on my, uh, the Animoog uh, synth there. I can just add uh, micro phaser um, intensity, bring that up, see what that sounds like. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Funk box, I could put a compressor on and maybe um, a bit of reverb perhaps. So uh, just go back, sorry, just go back into my plugins, uh, reverb on my drum machine. <laughs> and there it is. So there is an explanation of how to get things into GarageBand from other audio apps that you have on board. Now, there are a few applications which are directly compatible with GarageBand that you load up much as you would uh, plugins on a computer, which are fully editable, programmable. It remembers positions of controls, etc., just like the GarageBand instruments. And it, you'll usually say this when you look at an app online that is compatible with GarageBand in that way. So. Now, some people think that at bar one, for example, it's 
not quite capturing the very beginning of that sound. Now, if I zoom in right to the beginning here, you can see that the, the original uh, sound from Funkbox, it's hard to see on the screen here, but it doesn't look like it's fully captured the very beginning of that note. Now, my only suggestion for that would be to simply record from bar one, but make your song start at bar two, for example, and then you can edit that out. So if I wanted my uh, drum beat to start at bar two, I could grab my bar here and just cut it here until you see snap to grid off up there. And it means that you can just drag your slider exactly to where you want it. So if I just mute the Annie Moog. Oh. I'll take those effects off as well because <laughs> you might be able to hear what's actually happening. So um, just return the bass and treble to, there we go, so original position. So if I go back slightly before bar two, it's then captured whatever you want at the beginning. So generally speaking though, it, it looked like it had captured everything, but you can never be sure that it will capture the absolute beginning of bar one, beat one, you know, the, the very beginning uh, sort of attack of it. But there you go, there is an explanation of how to get things in GarageBand from other apps on your iPad.